Well, hey there, my name's Charles, and I've been a Volkswagen mechanic for quite some time. And in my two to 300 years of experience on working on Volkswagens, I've learned a lot about the ins and outs of these cars. I've also owned several of them, and they've all been really great. However, according to the internet, some people feel like these cars are unreliable, they cost too much to maintain, technicians don't know how to fix them, and they fall apart as soon as the car is out of warranty. Now, in the three to 400 years I've been fixing these, I haven't really experienced that. What I have seen is a lot of improper maintenance, improper repairs, and not showing the love for your vehicle that it really does need. So today I'm gonna to give you five tips to make sure that your Volkswagen will last basically forever. For our demonstration, we're gonna be using this 1998 Volkswagen Beetle, which is clearly in almost perfect condition. But because it's not perfect, this gives me an incredible opportunity to share with you some must-follow maintenance tips. Let's start with basic underhood maintenance. Everybody knows you're supposed to check your engine oil regularly. So pull out your dipstick and just check the level on it. There should be plenty on there. But what happens if there's no oil on the end of the dipstick? Well, what you can do is take the dipstick funnel, just break some of it off, put it back on, recheck your oil level, and all of a sudden, the engine oil level is perfect. Don't forget to put your dipstick back too. But that's only just part of the maintenance you need to do on the engine oil. If you look around and you don't see any engine oil on the top outside of the engine, you want to make sure you lubricate that really, really well. Not lubricating the outside of the engine is a huge issue and can lead to catastrophic failure. Sometimes these cars also get a bum rap for electrical problems, and I actually just don't see that. If you look here, this car doesn't even need a battery to run perfectly. And if you did end up with an issue, all you have to do is change out your battery wood and the car will be just fine. Finally, you might be worried about how much plastic is under the hood of really any modern car. Well, as you can see, it's not the case on this car. The previous owner actually did a great job of maintaining this pump here by having some wire or something attached to it as a safety thing. It's kind of like how an NHRA, they strap down the supercharger so that if it blows up, it doesn't go flying into the crowd. Same kind of thing with the secondary air pump. And as I'm gonna show you, there's not as much plastic as you think. This part right here, that's not even plastic. Next up is going to be wiper blade maintenance. Now, the previous owner of this Beetle did a wiper blade delete, which I can't recommend doing that enough. However, if you're not prepared to take the step to delete your wiper blades, you wanna make sure that you're changing them properly. Lifting up the wiper arm to change the blade is nice and easy. Then, when you put the wiper blade down for the delete, make sure you push that down pretty hard, otherwise it won't seat on the windshield properly. Also, make sure you do the passenger side too. We like to call this the circle of victory. Next up, we have window regulator maintenance. Now, of all the things where the previous owner of this car really missed the opportunity for proper maintenance, this is not one of them. There is so much good workmanship done here that I'm really, really proud of the previous owner. So what can happen is the cable for the window regulator can break, and they smartly just tied it around this wire here to make sure that it doesn't get caught in the door when you shut the door. They also de-electroned this connector here to make sure that they had no electronical problems going forward. But what's so impressive about this particular repair is the resourcefulitude of keeping the window up. They were able to find some highly tuned, perfectly fitted sticks in order to keep the window up. Also, what that means is if you go to the park with your dog, you can take your stick out and play fetch with your dog. And if one fails, obviously, you have a backup. The area where I see the biggest mistake made is in the air freshener department. Now, you'll see so many cars with this style of air freshener on it, and unfortunately, that doesn't make your Volkswagen run right. We need to get rid of stuff like this. There's really only one style of air freshener that works right on these cars, and that's gonna be the VW Smell Good. Now, if you don't run this air freshener, so many things are gonna go wrong with your car. It's also important too, don't just rip the package open and let all the smell good come out at one time. You just wanna open it and let it ease out. Nothing worse than having a crayon smell overwhelm you and overpower the rest of the really good stuff inside the car. Hanging this in a normal air freshener spot is probably the single most important bit of maintenance you can do on your car. Now, this next one is primarily for the Beetle. However, it can really apply with a little bit of modification to any Volkswagen out there. 
and that is proper flower pot maintenance. Now, the previous owner of this car did not do proper flower pot maintenance, which is why their factory flower pot had to be removed. Luckily, we have this add-on flower pot available that just glues right to the dash and is a win-win because it's actually a little bigger than the OEM one. So what we need to do about once a month is extract all the growing liquid that your plants crave, whether it's water or Brondo or some new thing that I don't even know about yet, make sure you refill it. For this one, I'm also going to repot my plant as well. So we'll go ahead and get that in there nice and wide and decorative. Once we're happy with how our plant looks, we need to go ahead and refill our water. Make sure you get it good and full and nicely watered. Now this should last me at least 30 days or so, but every once in a while, you may need to top your water off. You really can't underfill this cup here, so get it good and full. Maybe good time to water your dashboard too if it needs it. And finally, the sad day might come where you need to replace your car. And for that, you wanna make sure you have a proper salesperson to make sure that you really understand the car you're buying. Here's my proper salesperson, and I have some questions about this Beetle to see what she would say if we were trying to buy this car. Okay, so what about something like this broken tail light here? Uh, <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to always turn on your light. Well, what about missing a license plate? You can drive crazy in the ditch. You can drive crazy in the ditch, got it. What about something like what looks maybe like metal coming out of the tire? <laughs> you don't always have to fix the tire and that gives you good traction because so it can stick to the road. The metal gives you good traction so it will stick to the road. That makes sense. Okay, now when we look on the inside, what about all these car parts that seem to be just piled up inside this car? You could, if, you, if your car broke down, you could fix it yourself with all those car parts. So like roadside repairs, huh? Mm -hmm. What about all this stuff that looks like it's leaking underneath the car? I don't know. It's, I think it's just supposed to do that. Okay, now this tire, it looks super flat. Is it supposed to be that way? Yeah. Why would it supposed to be that way? To give you the traction again. That tire gives you super good traction. Okay, what about this crack in the windshield? Is that supposed to be there? Yes. Why? So you can see that. No. Okay, what about this hole right here in the intake manifold? I, I think that's a speed pipe. Okay, there's a bunch of tips to really help you keep your Volkswagen running for pretty much ever. Dad, isn't this our April Fool's? No, this is a real video. April Fool's. April? Wait a minute. This is April Fool's? I thought we were shooting a for real video. I guess it is. April Fool's. Hey, give me a high five. That was a weird high five. Bye.